Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. My name is, of course, Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. Today, of course, another Marvel Legends review. As in front of me, we have this Avengers Infinity War 2-pack of Winter Soldier and Falcon, aka Bucky Barnes and Sam Wilson. Now, to be honest, this is probably my least desirable set from the Avengers Infinity War figures, just because there's nothing massively new and exciting in this 2-pack. They're just some updates on figures we've previously had. So previously we got, uh, along with the Civil War film, we got Falcon and we got Winter Soldier. This Winter Soldier does seem to be a new updated body and they're using that 3D uh, printing on the face, which I appreciate. But this Falcon just seems like the exact same figure with a different paint job, um, which is an improvement, yes, but I really wanted an unmasked Sam Wilson, AKA Anthony Mackie head sculpt. Don't know why, his goggles are fine, but I like to have that that display option and we don't get it we don't get any new pieces all of this we've seen before and I really hate that gun but that's a different story that we're getting to in a minute but uh yeah I wasn't going to jump on this set but as I said managed to get hold of it through uh my mother-in-law when she was in Canada managed to pick it up for me so I didn't have to pay over the odds I got it at retail so very happy about that and um, so yeah why not and as I said Falcon is one of my favorite uh, MCU characters really hope he gets a spin-off on that Disney streaming network, fingers crossed. But uh, one less thing desirable about this two pack as well, that it was meant to come with a Stanley Builder figure piece. Now again, never officially announced with Hasbro, but leaked online, apparently if you had brought both of these two packs, we would have been able to build a Stanley Builder figure. So it is very sad that in front of me, I haven't got a Stanley Builder figure right now, but you can see the picture. That's what we were meant to have with the two pack so unfortunately that is very disappointing as it would have made this set a lot more desirable but still you know me i'm a sucker for everything mcu and i think i have all the avengers infinity war figures now and they have finally announced ebony ma and corvus glaive so they're going to keep coming as well but uh yes nevertheless happy to have this two pack now after all so let's open it up and see what they're like after we've looked at the back of the box, as we do, with a little write-up, little promo pick, some pictures on the side, as always. Um, so yeah, now we can open the box. And here they are out of the packaging, looking very nice. Marvel Legends, for me, always look better when you take them out of the box and you can get a closer look. Uh, the Winter Soldier is definitely the standout of this two-pack, as it seems like a, a more updated figure with a, a new mould for the whole body and definitely an upgrade in the face. This Anthony Mackie, unfortunately, just seems like... Uh, a complete repaint, the exact same figure, just with new paint, which is a bit disappointing. As I've already mentioned, I would have liked to see an unmasked Sam Wilson, well, ungoggled Sam Wilson head. Uh, I think this uh, Winter Soldier was one of the first figures to be revealed from Infinity War because Sebastian Stan wore it in his pocket when he was on Good Morning America, and uh, it's the last one to get. So uh, that was weird how it was the first one I've seen and the last one I actually picked up. But uh, here are their accessories on the table. Not very MCU accurate, let's be honest, because this gold gun is nowhere to be seen. This is actually a reissue from uh, the Mandroid Builder figure wave, where the old uh, Winter Soldier Bucky come with it, which is just a, a weird alien gun. But the paint scheme is to match his arm for no reason at all. And this gun seems to come with... Uh, well, it come on the side of the box for Falcon, but again, this isn't accurate for Falcon. This is probably better off with Bucky, but... Uh, Again, just another accessory. And then Falcon, of course, comes with his trademark wings. Uh, he's got, seems to have a red, uh, red wing drone, but not deployed. So this can just plug back into his backpack. So uh, if you've got the old Falcon, you know exactly how this works. So uh, let's may as well get into that first, shall we? And take a closer look at Falcon. So before plugging his trademark wings, I just thought I'd show you a closer look at this new head sculpt. I can't tell if it's a new head sculpt or just a better painted head sculpt, but you can definitely see elements of Anthony Mackie in that uh, head sculpt. I don't know if it's just the goatee that gives it away, but again, I would have preferred to see uh, a head with no goggles like in that SH Figure Arts version we're gonna be getting. But the rest of the figure is the exact same mold that we've had previously with the Civil War version, and again, in that Disney Store four pack. Exact same figure, same sculpting, just a better paint job in regards to a bit more metallic and a bit more screen accurate, to be honest. There is where you plug in his wings. So we may as well get into his wings and uh, yeah, let me put the camera down a second. 
and get straight into his wings. So here are his wings. Again, same with what we've seen before. Here's his backpack. I've already plugged in the drone. So again, that just unplugs. This is meant to be red wing, but undeployed. And you plug it in there. Unfortunately, with this pack, we don't actually get the red wing deployed, which is a little bit unfortunate. So yeah, these wings. So you see the pegs there, you see the holes there. It is that simple, people. You just plug them in like that. Um, it's the first time we're doing this, so it's a little bit stiff, but all good. Again, second time with this one as well. And yeah, they do go in nice and tight, so we shouldn't have no issues. So you go, the wings are in play. On the back there, you've got the two peg holes, the two pegs and there's the two holes. And then it's a simple case of lining them up and plugging them in. And now we have Anthony Mackie with his wings. And I don't think the wings have any difference in them at all. It's a decent wingspan as well. So the wingspan there is about 12 inches, which isn't too bad at all. Pretty decent. It does stand out when you get him on a flight stand. And again, this gun was on his side of the box and he does hold it, but I don't think it is meant for him, unfortunately. He should have come with two pistols, but he does have trigger fingers, so he can hold this rifle if you'd like. But uh, again, probably not your best option for your Falcon figure. So yeah, that is Falcon. Again, just basically a reissue of a figure we've previously got, but if you missed out first time, this is this opportunity to get him. Um, so yeah, let's compare him with his previous version. Here is a quick comparison of the previous Falcon that come with the Civil War film. It was uh, a Walmart exclusive and in the UK it was an Asda exclusive. And as you can see, uh, it's just a less paint on this one, a lot duller paint. This new Infinity War one is a lot more metallic looking and the head sculpts do seem similar. Just again, different paint job. The new one does seem like an upgrade. The goggles are silver and on this one they are black and there's a bit of red on the boots there. But again, not a lot of difference, people, at all. So again, either Falcon will be sufficient for your uh, Infinity War or Civil War display. You can see on my old Falcon, I've actually got him holding two guns. Um, I think these come with a Punisher, Marvel Legends Punisher or something. They're not screen accurate, but they're better than the rifle because Falcon is seen many times in the films holding two uh, pistols of sorts. And here's wings, uh, again, are exactly the same as the previous ones. But this old version comes with a deployed Red Wing, um, which this new newer version doesn't. So I'll put the older version there. Again, here's the newer version. Here's the new wings. So if you have the old one, you've got a deployed Red Wing, but other than that, it's the exact same figure. Um, so yeah, there is your Falcon comparison. I do, again, I think, uh, the new one is an upgrade, but only just like slightly. Moving on to Bucky, AKA Winter Soldier. And as you can see, that is a very decent head sculpt. Definitely see elements of Sebastian standing there from certain angles. Very happy with how that looks. And there is his more screen accurate outfit that you see in Infinity War. And there is his Wakandan metal arm with the elements of gold in there, which is very, very nice. Um, so this is definitely an upgrade figure, not just a reissue. I think the bottoms are the same as all the previous uh, Falcons we've had. and But yeah, the rest of it seems brand new. And it looks very, very nice. Talking about this gun, as I said, the paint scheme is the same as the arm, but it's not an accurate gun at all to the film. It is actually the exact same gun we got with the previous Winter Soldier. And... Uh, I think 2004, so yeah, so four years later, they give us the exact same gun that no one liked, but in a different paint scheme. It looks like a Shatari gun or something, to be fair, so maybe you can find a place for it in your display with uh, some of your other Marvel Legends. But uh, yeah, it seems like the same gun. Seems like a slight difference. Like this one's got a bit sticking out, but uh, other than that, same gun, same boring gun. Spent too much time talking about that, but uh, yeah. Winter Soldier looks nice. Let's compare it to the previous ones. So here we have the three different versions of Bucky Barnes, AKA Winter Soldier in Marvel legend form. This one, of course, from possibly the best MCU film, arguably Winter Soldier. Then we got again, Civil War, what a great film. And then Infinity War. Um, and yeah, it does look like he slowly gets better as the releases go on. I do like this uh, outfit choice for a 
Civil War and I like the head sculpt on this one so maybe I could swap them around but yeah these figures are very nice to be fair um, you can definitely find places for these in your display um, yes but this is the, definitely the better head sculpt so I'm going to take that off take this off and see if it plugs in and it does so if you want the new head sculpt on the previous body even though it seems like he hasn't got a neck you can do it um, but no, it definitely suits the new body better. The new body's a lot slimmer and more athletic, I suppose. But there's the difference in the arms. Um, again, I think it's the same arm. Maybe, um, or maybe not. I can't tell. Maybe it's a new arm, but still looking good. And there he is compared to the old Winter Soldier version. I think they all share the same legs, to be honest, but then everything else is different. Or maybe this one's all new. I can't tell. This one does seem all new. These two had the same legs. Not like it matters, but I know some people get picky about the details. But yeah, yeah, they're your free Winter Soldier figures. Not looking bad at all. And just for a little bonus comparison, um, I thought I'd show him next to Rocket Raccoon since they did seem to make friends very briefly in Infinity War. Maybe I could get him holding Rocket. No, there's nothing to grab. But you could definitely display him holding Rocket. Um, I get him using the gun that come with uh, Falcon. You could definitely get Bucky holding that. Again, he's got a trigger finger, so you can get it to work, I think. Yeah, that does seem to work. There he is. So here he is holding the gun. He did have a gun like this in Infinity War, but not accurate like that one. And he was shooting. And he was holding Rocket. So you'd have to get some better display and options than, than that. But... Uh, you know what I'm trying to do, people. You know what I'm trying to do. Just trying to have some fun. They're toys after all. They're toys after all. So, um, yeah, let's finish this comparison with uh, their best friend, I suppose. Right, let's bring Falcon back in here. So, shall we take Falcon's wings off for a minute? Yeah, let's take Falcon's wings off just for a minute. Let's move all them out of the way. Move everything out of the way and bring in their best friend, Mr. Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Captain America. So now you can have the three bestest of friends all displayed on the shelf. And these look very, very nice together. Not going to lie. They're all about the same height. Uh, but the Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Chris Evans head sculpt looks very nice with this uh, Sebastian Stan head sculpt. So now we just need uh, an ungoggled Falcon so we can have an anti Mackie face sculpt. And uh, these would look very nice on your shelf, however you want to display them. Rather have my Falcon displayed in the air, of course. But uh, yeah, let's be honest, these three do look very good together. So there you go. Uh, overall, I'm very happy with this two pack. I can understand why it's an easy skip for some people, but the completionist in me definitely needed these figures. And as you can see, Anthony Mackie, AKA Sam Wilson, AKA Falcon, get him on a flight stand and he definitely pops on your display very easily. I've seen some people dangling from the ceiling on some fishing wire or something, and he definitely looks decent flying above your Avengers. Um, but yeah, these two look very good. Um, but Winter Soldier is definitely the standout from the set. And Falcon only is just an upgrade, but only by a couple of percent. But uh, it's a two pack, so you can't get one without the other unless you jump on eBay. But um, these look very nice. I'm happy I got them. You let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Are you going to get them? They just don't look right, do they, without their good friend Steve Rogers? But uh, yeah, you let me know in the comments below. Are you going to pick up this two pack or not? Um, as always, there is over 200 videos on the videos tab of me jibber jabbering about Marvel Legends. So if you're interested, go and check them out. But as always, people, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Much appreciated. And I shall see you on the next one.